she can also add a note. In addition to that, now she needs to understand what is it that she's going to eat for lunch that day. So she proceeds to the meal builder. Let's say Maddie is going to have for lunch today pizza and a glass of milk. Food is a big issue for people with diabetes. Every time they put something in their mouth, they're having to estimate exactly how is that going to affect my glucose levels. Well, now she knows that she's going to have 46 grams of carbohydrates. The next thing Maddie does is she progresses to the insulin calculator. And her insulin dose is automatically calculated for her using her insulin sensitivity factor, her carbohydrate ratio, as well as the glucose reading that she just had. Well, Maddie has swim practice today, and swimming lowers Maddie's glucose levels. So instead of taking the 4.6 units that Ma was calculated for Maddie, Maddie's going to lower her dose. And she's going to take four units. Keep in mind, most of this math has, al has always been done in Maddie's head. Now it's done for her via this application. Diabetes is also a very lonely disease. And when at school, Maddie is pretty much left to her own to manage it. Given that she has the iPhone now, she can, she can communicate with the greater diabetes community and get the support of people like her caretakers, her parents, her doctors, etc. In addition to that, given the new capabilities of the SDK, Maddie can let her parents know she's OK by sending them a message with her glucose numbers and how she's feeling. Diabetes is a complex disease, and it's complicated in managing, both in the short term, when you have to decide how much insulin you're giving yourself, as well as in the long term to prevent complications such as kidney disease and um, blindness. So Maddie wants to manage her glucose levels and stay in range at all times. So we have given her a history view of all of her readings. It's got her glucose readings, the insulin value she has with it, and the time and date in which she, she took the reading. In addition to that, though, it's often difficult to view um, trends and patterns by looking at a list. So we can give Maddie a graphical representation of this information. You can see Maddie is within range most of the time. However, there are a few exceptions, and she wants to understand why. So she taps on the dot, and she gets the idea that it is a, it's a below, her reading is 65, but she wants more information. So she taps on it again, and she gets the specifics of that reading. As you can see here, it was before a swim meet, and Maddie was really anxious. So what does that mean for Maddie? That means all she has to do is next time lower her insulin dose a little bit more than she did that uh, when she has a swim practice. Okay, So she knows exactly what to do. As you can see, we have provided Maddie with the tools she needs that fit, make diabetes management easier and fit right into her lifestyle. We will continue to create a world without limits for people with diabetes by partnering with Apple and using the new SDK. We will also work closely with the global health authorities, such as the FDA, to ensure that we are compliant and meet all regulatory requirements. Our goal is, our goal is to move people from managing a burdensome disease to intuitively managing a lifestyle creating the opportunity for them to have better health outcomes and a better quality of life. Thank you. Thanks. So imagine the possibilities. You know, when you have your iPhone, it's always with you. It's always connected. And now it can talk directly to accessories like that glucose meter. We think it's profound. Next, NG Moco. NG Moco is a startup company that was created to develop games exclusively for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. In fact, they were one of the first companies funded by the iFund, which was, which was announced a year ago here on the stage by Kleiner Perkins. To give you a sneak peek at a couple new games they're working on, I'd like to invite up Neil Young. Neil? Welcome. 
Hello. Um, we uh, created our company because we believed that the iPhone could revolutionize gaming. It is such an incredible device for playing games on. With multi-touch and accelerometer for controls, rich graphics and sound, access to your media, it's a wonderful device. But more importantly, it's always on, it's always with you, and it's always connected to the network. And it's the potential of that network connectivity that is so exciting to us as game makers. It can enable new types of social play, new types of gameplay experiences, and new ways for us as game makers to commercialize our work. Today, we're going to, to show you two games that we're working on at NG Moco that couldn't be further apart in terms of their content, um, but both take advantage of that network connectivity and the new features of Apple's 3.0 SDK. The first is Touch Pets, our social pet simulator. And the second is a worldwide sneak peek exclusive look at Live Fire, a multiplayer first person shooter that can be played over Wi Fi and 3G. Uh, to help me demo those products, I'd like to introduce Chris Plummer, who's uh, petting puppies in the morning and fragging noobs at night. <laughs> so, Chris, uh, take it away. Okay, thanks, Neil. <clears throat> so as you just heard, I, I just received a push notification, one of the new features of SDK 3.0. This is an invitation to a play date with someone else's dog. So I'm going to accept that, launch the app. So Touch Pets Dogs is the first virtual pet game with its own embedded social network. Um, there's tons of things you could do in the game, from teaching your dog to tricks and going on adventures and having play dates with other people's dogs on your device, which is what we're going to do in just a moment. So this is my play date. My dog Scruff is uh, the Jack Russell here on the right. That's Scruff. And his date is uh, with mittens. This uh, hot looking uh, dachshund right here. Now, by lifting up my finger, I can drag the dogs around. You know, we're really excited about this because the AI is so sophisticated in the game. I can teach my dog um, all kinds of skills. They develop emotions and relationships. Now, Scruff is looking for love, and I really want this play date to go well for him. So why don't we go to the store and buy him something really cool to wear? So I'll just launch the Touch Pet store. Now as you play the game, you earn puppy points, and with that I can buy literally hundreds of different uh, items, special items to take on missions, gifts that I can give to other dogs on play dates, uh, toys of course, food, um, care items, and apparel. Now if I don't like anything that I see here, I can look at the bottom right corner of the screen, it tells me there's some more item packs that I can purchase, so I'm gonna just launch that. I see there's three different item packs. I'm gonna buy the shirt pack, this launches the in-app commerce API. I'm going to accept this from my iTunes account. I now have a shirt pack. And as I return to the game, and check and see how the little pups are doing. I'm checking it out over here. I'm going to launch uh, Scruff's inventory. He's got a lot of different items. Um, as I played previously, I earned this cool little baseball cap, a uh, little collar, and how about this shirt from the shirt pack? Okay, so now I think uh, Scruff is looking pretty cool. I'll give him a little pet with the, uh, come here, Scruff. Come here, buddy. There you go. I think he's looking pretty cute now. With the stroke of my finger, I can give him a little pet. Oh, look at those, Sarge. He's looking awfully cute. I think he's super happy. If he has a successful play date, the results will be broadcast on the Touch Pet social network for all of his friends to see. <laughs> so that's a little example of uh, Touch Pet's dogs. Now, let me jump immediately into something totally different, which is live fire. Uh, we are so excited. <laughs> We're so excited, NG Moco, to bring really the king of all gaming genres to the iPhone uh, with the features of SDK 3.0 that really allow us to take our vision and push the genre forward in places it's never been before. So I'm going to launch into a global game server with other players. I think we'll run into Tim, who's our lead engineer. Right now, I just pressed anywhere on the left side of the screen uh, to create a touch control with our Touch Anywhere controls. I can move, I can look, just like any first.